Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the new Rogue Company update, which includes one new map, a couple of important changes to the standard demolition game mode, and one new character for you to choose. Like and subscribe if you do enjoy, and let's get into it. In game you earn money which allows you to buy more guns and accessories. And for these menus, they've changed for some of the characters, like SMGs are now 7,000 instead of 8,000 like every other gun. And I've also noticed that some abilities are either more or less expensive depending on how they affect the game. And I think that's a welcome change because it at least provides some reasoning to what's balanced and what's not. So someone can't quickly get an ability and just destroy the entire lobby. And it makes you think about what you want to spend more often than you would before the change was made. Rogue Company also added another map with this update, and it's called Hollows. This map consists of a secluded scientific base with a rocket ready to be launched. It's a pretty cool idea, and I think the aesthetic, it looks really nice. And on a gameplay standard, it has a lot of areas where you can get peeked from, and that's my one real problem with this map is that there's so many areas that you can't really cover every side, and you can get flanked from anywhere. There are so many areas, especially on the points like A and B, the main points you have to plant the bomb. There's like three or four ways each route. So I think they could have done a little less with that, but other than that one main issue, I think the map is a good addition, and it makes you really use your teammates more and hope that they cover the blind spots that you can't see. The design also grants a more fast-paced game where you can get through rounds really quickly with all the people converging on one area. And sometimes that works and other times you want to take it slow and really strategize what type of route you're going to take to either plant or defend the bomb. But it really depends on what you're feeling at that moment and generally it's a good addition to the game. The last part of the update is the new hero or playable character called Seeker, and he has a bow which operates similar to Dallas, being when he shoots it, it detects anyone in the area and reveals them to you. And this is where my problem begins. They could do something so different and so much better than just repeating Dallas's power but having the guy with a bow. I don't think it adds much to the game since you use the bow in such a similar way it doesn't feel any different. For example, you could still have the bow, and then you could also have him plant traps or something like a hunter. Like, that would be a different character, and he'd operate in a different way than how we've already seen him. He could have net traps, bear traps, something interesting other than just repeating a power we've already seen. He has two guns, which are fairly good, and I don't really care about those because every character has them. But you could have also used the bow as some kind of sniper weapon and have it operate similar to... The guns that Fixer and Phantom have. His other passive ability is called Ricochet, which whatever he strikes, if it bounces off, it does more damage, which is actually a really interesting mechanic, and I think that goes well with the character. But with the other problem with the bow, I don't really think I'm ever going to be using him, but he's an interesting character to add to the team if you don't already get annoyed by when a Dallas keeps revealing you. And then he also has a sticky seeking grenade similar to his bow, which again, I don't think that adds very much. It's just another way to get revealed, which getting revealed is probably one of the most annoying things in the game. Of course, there are other annoying b abilities like Dima's grenade launcher and Ronin's knife, which do provide some threat, but at least they're avoidable. Because once you get revealed, you have to wait till it gets off, and you can't really play it as you would if you were still hidden from the enemy. And I think they could have expanded the character to do something more than just repeat an ability that was already used, and that's my main problem with him. If this was different, for example, if he was more of a hunter type with the bow as an actual weapon, more like a sniper, and then him having bear traps that you could set down that could be hidden or something, that would be much more interesting than what we got. My other issue with Seeker comes with his perks, because he has the ability Lifeline, and this ability allows you to revive in two seconds, in which for a player who already has the power to reveal, I don't think it's good that he has both 
revealing and quick healing abilities because even a saint can do that even though he's a healer while he does have his drone this still doesn't give him the advantage because seeker can get someone up in two seconds and i don't think he should have both of those abilities and that's another reason why i just don't like this character like it's not terrible but there's some major issues that plague me from trying to give it the benefit of the doubt now let me give you a suitable idea for a new character that provides new mechanics and a different playing experience that doesn't already exist in the game. My character is a really buff fisherman, and his name is Chum because that's related to fishing. And this guy has a standard assault rifle, so he actually has a gun, and his second is a harpoon, which goes along with the fishing theme. And this harpoon can be shot at people, and it can also pull back to bring people towards him. It does 50 damage, so it takes 2 to kill people, or 3 if they have the extra shield. And this would allow you to actually have a fun mechanic with a different kind of gun. And the harpoon, once upgraded, would do 75 damage, so it could kill someone with armor in 2. But it would allow you to have a gun that actually works in a different way, because if you shot it at a wall, it would get stuck. And you have to pull it back before firing again, so you'd have to take more time and land your shots to actually make an impact on the enemy. It would also bring players towards you, as I said earlier, giving you an easier chance to finish them off after you harpoon them already. And this gun would be different than anything we've seen before, because nothing really gets stuck anywhere, you always can just reload the gun and keep going, so I think this is a new mechanic that could bring something different to the game. He also will have his special ability being a net gun, which he attaches to his harpoon, and this one shot at players will get them stuck in the net, and they'll have to spam a button or something to wiggle out of it, and this will give time for him to aim his harpoon and possibly kill them. And it wouldn't be too overpowered, the net would only last for like 2 seconds maximum, giving him a chance to stun a player and actually get them, but if he misses, it's basically useless. His melee weapon would be a frozen fish, because I just think that's, that's funny, and it makes sense going along with the theme, because... So getting slapped by a frozen fish would probably hurt, and it would work nice as a melee weapon for a fisherman. He would have the perk of Headstrong, similar to Saint or Anvil, giving him 125 health. And with the Harpoon, this would give a nice balance of him actually being a threat, and being able to take enough bullets to do some decent damage. He would have a grenade that would launch hooks and fish at the player, blinding them for a split second, similar to a flashbang, but a little more on theme for his character. He would probably have the standard grenade as well, and I didn't want to go with like a net grenade or something like that, because that feels like I'd run into the same problem with Seeker and his Seeking Grenade as well. Honestly, I just had some fun making this character. I think he'd be a fun addition that would bring a little humor and a bit of interesting mechanics to the game. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to do more commentaries on games and move into some movies recently since I just saw Godzilla vs. Kong. And for this video, I wanted to share my thoughts on the different parts of the update, including the new character, the new map, and the changes to the main game mode demolition. I think this game is pretty fun and it provides a different aspect on this CSGO style uh, search and destroy. And... Hopefully the game can continue and offer some new characters that provide different abilities and a different playstyle than we're usually used to. With that, hit the like button and subscribe for more, and see you guys next time!